Hey Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and Fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, get ready to Spidey Classics Volume 2, Episode 2, that's right guys, and today we're talking about 1994's Web of Spider-Man, the first full appearance of Ben Riley. that's right guys, this Scarlet Spider, uh, he makes his debut in this issue, and uh, you know, back in the day everyone was like, whoa, who's this cool looking Spider-Man, you know? And uh, you had the whole clone thing going on, so it was a very interesting story. Uh, this book is in pretty good shape, uh, and it's funny when you look through this bat in this book, it still has the ads to fill in your subscriptions to Marvel, so you can get your uh, books for each month, which I thought was really cool to see. Uh, there's advertisements for X-Men, Captain Marvel in here, and uh, it's just really cool because it brings you back a blast from the past. Remember Gargoyles? Remember that show? So really cool stuff, and this is the year I actually graduated high school. I was 19, it was 1994, and uh, yeah, and I was uh, 19 years old, so I, I thought that was pretty awesome when this was made. Uh, the book actually looks really nice. Uh, in here, the facial expressions are really well done. It's funny because Ben Riley has these like weird glasses and it kind of makes him look different from Peter Parker. Uh, but when he takes those glasses off, he looks just like him. Venom's in this book. Uh, he looks menacing as ever in this uh, particular issue. And then by the time you get to the end of this issue, uh, we wind up seeing uh, what Scarlet Spider actually looks like when he's in costume for the first time. So the artwork is very well done. I really enjoyed it. But what are I thinking about the story? Let's talk about it here. So this is the first time you get to see Ben Riley, right? Uh, Scarlet Spider. You know, back in the 70s, you got to see like the clone of Spider-Man. But it's been uh, a progression uh, to get to this point. You know, it's been like 20 years. So uh, in this book, you wind up seeing uh, uh, Ben. He winds up coming into town and... Uh, he says he's only visiting and uh, he doesn't want to take the place of Peter Parker, but yet he has all these memories that's instilled with him because, yes, he is a clone. And at times you get to see him struggle with that. He's like, oh, I remember my Aunt May. And he's like, wait a second, that's Peter Parker. That's, that's his memories. It's not mine. So he's trying to differentiate himself uh, to being his own person in a way. Uh, in this book, you wind up seeing Venom who makes his return uh, as he's probably going to go after which looks like uh, Carnage at this point. And he's saying that he's a threat to Venom, but can he actually kill him because it is a spawn of himself? So we get to see Venom causing all these problems throughout this city and whatnot. And we get to see uh, Ben Riley actually kind of investigate things uh, as time goes along. We have Aunt May, who's in, uh, uh, who has like, she's suffering, she's very sick, or it's a stroke, or something like that. Betty Brantz you know, makes her appearance. She hasn't been around in a while. And, you know, Ben is kind of, you know, hanging around the city, seeing all these things that are going on. And he realizes as the issue progresses that the city's a trap, it needs its hero. Uh, when he actually rescues this girl uh, that is about to fall off this bridge. Why she was on this bridge, I don't really know or understand. I don't think it was really explained that well, but she was on the bridge and she was like sleepwalking or whatnot. And so Ben Riley goes and he saves the day. And uh, the book does a pretty good job at kind of bringing back some of Peter Parker's history when it came to Gwen Stacy and whatnot. So the book did a good job at doing that. And uh, he drops the girl off at a hospital. And like I said, he's like, I, I, a hero is needed. It's a trap. And Peter Parker didn't deal with this creature called Venom. He left him out in the loose. So he feels that he was obligated to stop Venom. So the first time that you get to see Ben Riley Dawn the new Scarlet Spider costume. He has this, you know, red spandex. He gets the uh, the hoodie, uh, the blue hoodie. He rips the sleeves off. He wears the shooters on the outside, and uh, you get to see him get ready to go after Venom. So that is pretty much the issue uh, in itself. What did I think about this book? Was it perfect? No. This is kind of pushing towards those 
mid 90s, late 90s, you know, era where comic books were getting on the verge of actually really getting gimmicky at this point and getting ridiculous. However, this is the one book that really shined. This is the book that uh, people welcomed Ben Riley in the Spider-Man universe. Uh, they really enjoyed him. The original intention here was to kind of flip-flop the people and make Scarlet Spider the actual real Peter Parker and the other Peter Parker the clone. But they actually kept their separate identities as time went along and people really enjoyed the character uh, and and he's still in well I guess recently he's been killed but he I'm sure he'll make his return eventually but uh, he is a good character I enjoyed the issue for what it was it was a lot of you know what I am Ben Riley I'm trying to separate my memories from this and from that it was a lot of setup of what's to come but by the time you got to the end of the issue and got to see Scarlet Spider for that first time it kind of brought back those memories of like, oh man, I remember that the first time I saw this version of this Spider-Man. It'll be interesting to see where he goes. So it brings back some good memories. Uh, as you know, as it stands the test of time, I gotta give it a 3.75 out of five stars. It just kind of just was like there, and then at the end you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so and it just it, it's like they almost threw in Venom in here to make sure people were read it because Venom is like the go-to bad guy villain for a Spider-Man comic book. So, uh, again, I give it 3.75. Good artwork, uh, decent story. It's a good setup for, for what's to come in the future. So, guys, tell me your comments below what you thought of Web of Spider-Man, issue number 118, if you read it. Um, are you a fan of Scarlet Spider? Are you a fan of Ben Riley and the whole clone thing in general? So, again, guys, uh, this is... Uh, Spidey Classics Episode 2, Volume 2. Hope you enjoyed it. And this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.